2024 Jeep Wrangler 4XE Rubicon, exploring the power of bidirectional charging. We share our readers' excitement for plug-in hybrids, which offer serene electric driving while alleviating concerns about range and charging. Jeep's Wrangler 4XE has dominated the American market as the top-selling PHEV for two consecutive years. With the latest upgrades introduced for 2024, we felt it was opportune to bring one in-house and live with it, thoroughly uncovering its appeal and idiosyncrasies. Rapid acceleration with a combustion kick. When you floor the pedal in this vehicle, its turbo four-cylinder engine, coupled with two electric motors, propels the Wrangler forward with a gusto reminiscent of the iconic pushrod Hemi 392. Optimal results were achieved by engaging four high auto and activating off-road plus mode which disables traction control, clocking in at 5.6 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and 14.2 seconds for the quarter mile at 96.5 miles per hour, it trails the Wrangler 392 by about a second. However, utilizing 4WD instead of 2WD gives this 2024 4XE a full second advantage in the quarter mile and reaches the 60 miles per hour mark 1.2 seconds faster than its predecessor. Silent and steady in electric mode. Engage the electric mode by pressing the button located between hybrid and e-save settings, then modulate the accelerator to about 75%, and you'll effortlessly glide around town or traverse the Rubicon Trail in near silence. It's challenging to measure peak electric acceleration without activating the engine, but our testing team managed to achieve a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 17.0 seconds reaching a quarter-mile time of 20.6 seconds at 64.4 miles per hour. While this may sound leisurely, merging into traffic was seamless, and we never felt obstructive. You'd be surprised by how seldom you tap into this vehicle's maximum performance during daily commutes. We diligently charged the Wrangler 4XE every night at home and whenever the office charger was available. With a fully charged battery, the electric range typically indicated 21 to 25 miles, consistently delivering at least 18 miles even in winter conditions, without any noticeable sluggishness, except for one anomaly. On a particular day, despite sufficient battery power and extended driving in dry, sunny weather with a warmed cabin, the threshold for engine activation suddenly dropped to 25% throttle for no apparent reason. After restarting the vehicle, full electric power was promptly restored. Innovative displays Stellantis leads the pack in delivering comprehensive and visually engaging information through its infotainment screens, now showcased in stunning high definition on a 12.3-inch display. From SRT performance pages to the pioneering trails off-road feature, the vehicle-slash-e-hybrid screen offers a plethora of options. Among these, a PowerFlow diagram is enriched by real-time digital readouts illustrating the instantaneous kilowatts provided by either the engine or battery as well as those consumed by climate control or battery functions, such as Regen braking or engine charging. Notably, the eSafe generator mode funnels approximately 8 kilowatts into the battery on level terrain at 45 miles per hour, matching peak level 2 charging rates of 7.2 kilowatts. With this figure escalating to 40 kilowatts or more upon engaging the brakes or max Regen mode. While charging while driving isn't the most environmentally conscious practice, the combination of eSave's battery-preserving modes ensures that drivers consistently arrive at trailheads primed for serene off-roading adventures. Additionally, historical data pages provide a comprehensive overview, with two weeks' worth of daily bar charts summarizing energy regeneration and miles traveled on both gas and electric power. Valuable tools for conscientious drivers looking to optimize battery usage, especially in colder climates. Environmentally Friendly Remote Start in many countries, remote starting a combustion car to warm the interior is not permissible, but in the realm of electrified vehicles, preconditioning the cabin and battery maintains pristine local air quality. While ideally performed while plugged in, we successfully raised the temperature of a 40-degree cabin to a cozy 70 degrees using battery power alone before embarking on a brief journey, consuming a mere 5% of its energy in the process. Notably, similar to most EVs, users can schedule daily cabin preheating for up to 15 minutes, particularly beneficial for those with consistent departure times. The electric cabin heater exhibits remarkable potency and rapid response times. On one occasion, even without preconditioning, the combined use of seat and steering wheel heaters facilitated swift warming in just a few miles, potentially outpacing traditional gas-powered vehicles. A useful tip. 
adjusting the temperature slightly higher with a low fan speed, while directing airflow to the feet and vent registers, accelerates the sensation of warmth, minimizing energy consumption from the battery. Power Hub A significant enhancement for 2024 models introduces the capability of bidirectional charging, a feature that proves advantageous for customers through the inclusion of a power box equipped with four 120-volt outlets. This innovative addition plugs into the charge port, functioning exclusively when the vehicle is parked. With the ability to export 30 amps of power, provided neither of the duplex outlets exceeds a draw of 15 amps, the power box underwent rigorous testing. During trials, we successfully operated a 12.5 amp space heater on one side and an 11 amp chainsaw on the other, yielding satisfactory results until a temporary spike in current draw occurred due to a stalled chainsaw blade. However, Attempts to utilize a standalone air compressor failed due to its 20 amp startup current. The manual outlines the power box's capability to activate the engine in low battery scenarios, but this function, termed generator mode, necessitates activation via the Max Regen button, deactivating when the battery voltage reaches its minimum threshold. Despite following the manual's reset instructions, encounters with trip breakers resulted in occasional failures to restore functionality. A pro tip. While the owner's manual does not explicitly reference the power box, users can locate information under the term offboard power panel. Notably, this feature now comes standard on Sahara, Rubicon, and high altitude 4XE models. Factory winch, enhancing recovery, impacting handling. Another eagerly awaited addition for 2024 is the availability of a factory installed 8,000 pound worn winch, offered as a $1,995 option on our Rubicon X model. Opting for factory installation ensures the vehicle meets crash testing standards with the feature integrated. However, akin to previous Wrangler variants tested with and without the winch, the positioning of this substantial component significantly affects dynamic handling, exacerbating understeer and contributing to a full second decrease in our figure eight test results compared to the 2021 Model 4 XE Rubicon we evaluated. Despite this, the 2024 model still outperformed our previous Wrangler 392, whose V8 configuration renders it more front-heavy and prone to extreme traction slash stability control intervention. An additional concern noted during figure eight testing was a noticeable delay in brake release following heavy, non-ABS, braking into turns, indicating potential issues with brake response. A few considerations. According to the owner's manual, extreme temperatures below minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit or above 131 degrees Fahrenheit may hinder the vehicle's ability to start unless it's plugged in, allowing the high-voltage system to condition the battery. To mitigate such issues, the manual recommends keeping the vehicle plugged in whenever it's not in use. Additionally, for extended periods of non-use a month or longer, it's advised to disengage the electric parking brake and disconnect the 12-volt battery to prevent the system from engaging in periodic trickle charging, which could lead to both batteries draining, resulting in more significant complications. In summary, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, FEVs, offer intriguing benefits, and this model's capability to traverse nature quietly and gently adds to its appeal. For those committed to nightly home charging, it presents the opportunity for remarkably low operating costs, especially if charging is scheduled during off-peak electricity hours. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.